evening and welcome to our Facebook Live this evening. Thank you so much for joining me today. It is Thursday evening. It's the 25th of November already and it's 7pm here in the UK. Thank you for joining me. My name's Jenny McCormack and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based obviously in the UK. I do a Facebook Live Monday through to Thursday and you can catch me Monday and Wednesday at 10 a.m. Hi Katie and Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. This weekend I have a card class on um, an online card class on Saturday so I'm looking forward to that. I got all of the class boxes sent out and posted today so that was um, great to get that done and out of the way. It always takes longer than I expect. <laughs> it's just the way it goes isn't it? So this week we've been using Badger Besties for some fun little um, Badger cards. I'm just looking to see where I put them. Here they are. Some of them. Let me just show you these really quickly. Um, so these are not in any particular order. So if you like any of these that you see, you can go back and visit the videos either on Facebook or on YouTube, whichever you prefer. Um, so we have this one here that we did yesterday. Hi Jeanette, I hope you're feeling better. Sorry we missed you earlier in the week, but I hope you're feeling better now. So this one we did yesterday. This was the badger with all these lovely balloons and he's floating up through the sky. So thanks to everybody um, who came up with suggestions for what we were doing. So I had the idea of the badger with the balloons, but we decided collectively to have him or her um, floating up in the sky so I added these clouds just by cutting out a um, from a post-it note or a sticky note um, a little cloud shape and then putting those over and then use the blending brush with balmy blue to go over it um, so that was the finished results quite um, quite pale for you to see the sky but hopefully you can see it um, through there and we did some masking of the balloons again with um, post-it notes. Um, and then we had the mirror technique earlier in the week showing you how you can reflect or mirror an image. Um, this is going left to right, but you could do it top to bottom as well. And that was using that same badger stamp set. Just two of the badgers here facing each other, two different ones. And then... <laughs> That's nothing to do with it. <laughs> and then I had this one here, um, just with a badger on his own or her own. Oh, I'm glad you're feeling better, Jeanette. So I thought I'd do something different for today. Something nice and simple and a stamp set I haven't used for quite a long while. And that is this one here. Oops, I'm just taking it out of the light. Called Dragonfly Garden. It features this lovely um, set of um, sort of wildflower garden here. Obviously it has the dragonflies as well. And it has this area here that you can use to colour the dragonflies. It's got a little um, bunch of butterflies and then some nice little sentiments. So I thought I'd use this one uh, with a nice easy technique. Oh. So I have already mounted this onto a stamp, but I've realised it's got no um, index on it. So I'm just going to pop that on. Just peel one side of this off. So I hope everybody is having a reasonable week. Hi, Lynn. Thank you for joining us. I hope you've had a good day. I'll take my glasses off, see what I'm doing. So I like to peel half of this away place one 
place the stamp on just let it relax and then peel it away and then take the backing off the stamp if you can get it off and then just let that relax down what you don't want to do is try and push it down with your fingers otherwise you can crinkle this up and it is very very sticky as you can see okay that will do for now just going to pop this onto this block here like so and I've got some polished pink ink as you can see polished pink card and I've got my pink blending brush so what I was thinking is this is going to be my background there this panel I'm going to use this is from the scalloped contours dies it's very similar to the stitch so sweetly but it's just a really pretty design i like the very fine dots that go around and a nice size of um, the scallop around the edge so what i was thinking is just literally to stamp this and then use the blending brush to go around it and I'm not quite sure which way round I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to stamp it first and then use the blending brush um, just in that area to cover it in. Hi Tracy. I hope you are well. So I'm using early espresso. So um, yes, Friday tomorrow. Where did this week go again? just been slightly manic here but never mind all is good all is good so on uh, let me see on Sunday if you're local to me here I'm at the Crowton Christmas craft fair um, which is between 11 and 3 p.m. in Crowton at the Village Hall all right let's just pop this on here now what I could do, what I think I'm going to do is just mask off this edge so that my stamp doesn't go around the edge. Just for something slightly different, let me grab a post-it note which I've got just here. And we've got our online class on Saturday afternoon. So anybody who's bought my class in a box is welcome to join our online class and if you um, joined in person you can still come and join the online version as well if you wish Jeanette I don't know whether you've got your um, class pack yet whether you've caught up with Sheila or not because obviously she's got your pack from Tuesday okay so always looking forward to a card class so I'm just going to bring this down a little bit. I want a bit of the stalks at the bottom. So I'm going to stamp this in early espresso. And I might actually do two. I might do one that I colour in and one that I'm going to use the blending brush on. Okay, so if I now take that away, can you see how that... Um, starts above the stitching just for something different normally I stamp it right off the bottom but just for something different today it's such a fine little stamp it's so pretty right let's grab another layer and we'll do the same with this one um, I wonder actually if I might do it this way and put a couple of them going along. I don't know if you can see whether that's in your line of view. Let me have a look. Glasses on, glasses off. I haven't got my phone next to me, so I have to look over to the screen, which is to my left-hand side. 
oh you've got it excellent um to see your comments and i have to have my glasses on for that and then i take my glasses off for this um close work so i'm going to turn this on its side so I've got my post-it note along this bottom stitched line and I'm inking this up a fair bit more than I would normally and that's because I know there's not much ink in this ink pad. Okay so I'm going to start with that one like so and then re-ink it and out of this little one down here turn it around see what it looks like as to whether I do another one so that's like that I might do one the same sort of height so put this back on just moving it slightly further over and then maybe I'll do one the same height as this or similar height so I'll do that a bit more of an angle So this one obviously features the dragonflies. They are the main um, design in the set. But I think that this set of little wildflowers is just so pretty. It really is. Okay. And I'm going to grab some sentiments from a different set. Hi, Kerry. see if what I've got on here I've got hello happy birthday to you might fit nicely in there this is really pretty design so this is called as you can see whoop, out of the light best year and it's a nice combination set so I'm thinking that happy birthday to you will fit in there really nicely just take these off here so I hope you've got a good day ahead Kerry so Kerry's joining us from Australia and I just want to stamp this out and see how straight it is or isn't as the case may be so I've finally been brave enough to stamp on this lovely grid paper. Yep, that will do perfectly. There we go, like that. So we've had a lovely day here, but the weather is forecast to be horrible on... Um, Saturday with wind and rain and everything okay let me bring that up so you can see it hopefully there we go and then for this one I'll tell you what I might use and that's the vertical happy birthday um, unless I've got something it's got a hello I can put just a little hello down there or you did it what's that little hello will do just save some time looking for another stamp wouldn't it there we go just swap this one over right glasses off 
so I can see what I'm doing. This definitely does need re-inking. There we go. There we are. So I finished with my early espresso for the time being. So I've got two here. So what I'm going to do is just use my blending brush and ink just to do a sort of background effect on here. So it's rather like a watercolour. And then this one, I could do the same, but I think what I might do is just colour this one in using the same pink on the flowers though. So let's have a go with this. So this is polished pink, same colour as this cardstock. So all of you um, that are currently watching, I know, are well aware that stamping up colours coordinate right the way through from inks to ribbon to papers. Okay, so I'm just going to use my blending brush just over here. So whether this, um, whether they forecast arrives or not, I'm not quite sure. It sounds pretty bleak. But I have to say, we've had no rain for quite a while. So we're probably due some. But could do without the, the storm that goes with it. Okay. Sorry if I'm making you feel dizzy with that circular motion. Okay, so just blending some of that off onto my paper so it's not too harsh. I want a little bit more on this side. Now you could do this with three colours and make it look like a sort of sunset scene. And I think the inspiration for this has come from another demonstrator. I must have seen this somewhere recently. So one of the nice things about being a Stamping Up demonstrator is that we um, really do share ideas and um, suggestions with each other. And we have a Facebook group that has over 42,000 demonstrators worldwide. And it's encouraged that you share things that you've been created so it doesn't matter whether you're a beginner or whether you're an experienced crafter everybody is welcome to join in and share their ideas and I'm thinking maybe I've seen this somewhere there so I'm just adding this little bit over this bottom right hand side there we go so this is the same really as stamping with something like stays on and then doing a watercolour wash behind. Oh, Kerry's had another day of exam supervision. Oh my goodness. Then she has some time to make cards. Excellent. Okay, so I'm literally, I think, going to leave it like that, but I might colour those flowers in. Hmm. Not quite sure. I will have a look and see. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna look, going to colour those flowers in. So I have got light and dark polished pink. So the same um, set of pinks. And I don't know if there's, there's not a massive amount of um, shading required because it's quite a small image but let's add the dark like so oh and this tiny one here and then I'm going to use a yellow for the um, flower head so it's a bit like an echinacea plant flower There's that one there, 
and put one there. And then this is my light. So something nice and easy for a Thursday evening. I'm recording all the videos for our class um, tonight and tomorrow. And they will be online. As I say, I've posted all the boxes. So Tracy, you should have re um, received yours tomorrow, all being well. And when I went to the post office to send them, there was no queue today. How good was that? It's always nice when there's no queue. So I'm not doing, although I've used two colours, I'm not doing a great deal of shading because it's a very fine line for the design and there's not a, you know not a massive amount you can do with that okay i'll do the flower heads the little bits in the middle and then um see what you think so this is light mango melody And again, not really a lot of area to do any shading with, really. Well, not for me, anyway. Let me just hold that up to the light so you can see it. Hold it up to the camera like so. Just so delicate, isn't it? Oh, when's the online class? It's on Saturday afternoon, Tracy, 27th. Um, right, so I want a little bit of green, but I want it really quite um, pale. So I have got light granny apple. That's quite deep. So I'm going to try soft sea foam let's see because i want the flowers to be the um the focus so yeah that's good so run the use granny apple green which is a really bright green um just using that soft sea foam because I want your eye to be drawn to the flower not to the stalk or the leaves there we go yeah that's working nicely I could have used, what could I have used? Mint macaron, possibly. So obviously with our blends pens, just use what you've got. So literally just brushing that down the stalks not even really filling them in and I'm not quite sure what colour to do these little pieces here whether to just leave them as is what do you think I could just put a little bit of green on this almost looks like it should be a purple so I think what I'm going to do is Make that green like so and these tiny little flowers are going to add a little bit of 
purple. Mr. Leaf, always one, isn't there? Just so delicate, isn't it? So what I want is a very light Highland Heather, actually. I do have an old purple posy. dotting that on there because it's quite inky I haven't used it very much there we go let's put that one back and I saw something I missed these ones here there we go so exactly the same stamp set two completely different looks now i'm just wondering whether to add the color onto these flowers here i know you can't really see it can you um i think i might try it i can always restamp it if it doesn't look good but just to make this stand out again so this is light polished pink Like so. Have I missed one? No, that's it. And you could use um, your stamp and write markers because it's quite a small area. I think you could get away with using those. But I wouldn't use them for a sort of large area that you were covering. Okay, there we go, little flowers on there. Maybe I'll add just a little bit of green. Just on the bigger leaves. So and actually this hello would be quite nice on a little popped up on a little piece of Card, so I might just do that. Go. There we are. And what I want to do is add a little bit more pink up here. So it looks rather like I've just stopped, doesn't it? <laughs> So this won't affect the colour I've added with the blends pens. There we go. There we go. Very different look. But I think we're going to stamp that hello. And just pop it up on a little piece. And then we'll just put those together so really simple and sometimes if you've just got to do a quick card whether it's a thank you card a birthday card a sympathy card you want something simple and effective without that you don't have to think about really i'm all for those sorts of cards good combination of colours those three together granny apple green early espresso and polished pink okay let's grab some scissors and pop this up maybe on dimensionals and i'm going to do my slanted hello just for something different like so just going to cut that a bit shorter 
and it's quite nice to do that if you're not very good at cutting straight because your eye is not drawn to it So, if that's going to fit on there, just about. So I can keep this one with its white background or I could add a little bit of pink, but I quite like it in that um just very crisp clear background there we go so there's that one now i could stamp obviously not the huge dragonfly because <laughs> that's a little bit overkill but i could stamp these little butterflies Let's just put that label on because I want to see how big they are. As to whether they would look good on there. you reckon was that too many I could just do three so what I'll do is I use my stamp and write marker and I've got one here in early espresso and just highlight those three rather than all of them just like a smaller block And I'm just going to go for these three on the left. So they'll now be on the right. And so the stamp and write marker, because it's water-based, you can use it to ink up your stamps. So I'm using the brush tip. So it's the same as the blends pens in that it has one brush tip and one fine tip. Okay, so just going to huff on it and stamp here so I can see it. Yep. Perfect. There we go. I treated myself to um, some new pens recently. And I keep forgetting to put them in their case. So I must do that. They're currently just in a plastic bag. There we go. There's my three little butterflies. Appreciate you can't really quite difficult to get that in focus isn't it I'm sorry and I might just do these in a, a light blue so I might just do light balmy blue thank you Kerry let's just grab that These are almost like scribble butterflies. They wouldn't look anything like this if I tried though, I have to be honest. So I've stamped that with early espresso. Coloured them in with light balmy blue. And then I'm just going to use the colour lifter.
just to take a little bit of that out. I don't want them too dark so just running over that with the color lifter and that will lighten the blue it's almost like a bleach for want of a better description but not quite as toxic as a bleach okay so let's put these together so I have note cards and envelopes that I'm going to use for these. I highly recommend these. If you like to do quick cards, you can buy our note cards and envelopes in a pack of 20. And they're already scored. They come open. So you do need to use, I do recommend using a good quality bone folder or the edge of a block if you haven't got a bone folder to hand. Um, because it's a thick card so that's going to go on there and there like so let's do that quickly oh I've got lots of glue in front of me I did the tidying up yesterday or was it the day before might have been the day before okay so this is polished pink this is going on to the size of this mat is three and a quarter by four and three quarter inches because the size of the card in inches is three and a half by five. And with these, I tend to not add a lot of dimensionals. And they're absolutely fine to post. Oh, well, certainly for us here in the UK, they are. Like so. So there is that one. Little happy birthday to you. And then this one, our little hello. So you can see it's lightened up those butterflies. Hopefully you can see that. Could have used a little bit of green, actually. The... Um, soft sea foam would have worked quite nicely for that as well and let's grab a note card layer that one i've got another one here which is polished pink These are the ones that have been cut in half so that you can put them together like that behind, for example. So all I do is just cut two of them at an angle and then re-put them back together. Um, let's see if I've got a balmy blue one I could do that with. You can guarantee I'll have everything else. Yep. Yes, Coastal Cabana. I have. Let's have a grey. Let's have a look at the grey. Might be a little bit too dull though. You could also cut these vertically in half or horizontally in half and mix and match. That would also work. Ooh. So, slightly more subtle, but I quite like it with that grey. Especially as it's got quite a lot of pink going on. Right, just 
open a fresh pack. So this is how the um, pack comes to you. So 20 white cards, 20 white envelopes. And you can also buy these in very vanilla, which are really nice. Okay, fold this one over. And we're done. So nice and easy. Let's put those together. And there we go. Right, so that's onto the grey. And I'm just going to see, yeah, that's smoky slate. I thought it might have been grey granite, but it is smoky slate. And that's going to go onto there. And then you could stamp the inside with that same spray of flowers if you wanted to. You could obviously put it on the envelope as well. There we go. Our two simple cards, all from the same stamp, which is this one here from Dragonfly Garden. So people tend to focus on the dragonfly, um, but it's always worth looking at the other stamps in a set for something different. And I've used three out of these butterflies by um, just inking up with my Stamp and Write marker. So you can't do that with the blends pens. It has to be the Stamp and Write marker because it's water based. The blends pens are alcohol based. So there we go. I think maybe a bit of bling to finish. And we will be done. So I've got some plain rhinestones and obviously we do have our in colour bling so there's some there with that little pink on so pretty I do love these so I've got <laughs> five all together <laughs> three and two so I might I could do yellow on one and pink on the other although I've also got this blue I think the pink there we go So let's do three on this one, one, two, and three. So these are the in colour gems. So that's those there, look. Thank you, Jeanette. Thank you so much. And thank you, Lynn, for your nice comment too. And for this one, I think I'm going to put three little yellow ones just as a little oops contrast actually pale papaya technically but I think they work perfectly here three there we go so there's my little birthday card and then a little hello. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed my simple cards. Uh, we'll be back on Monday at 10 a.m. I do have my daughter's boyfriend staying with us and I have threatened him <laughs> to be on a Facebook Live tomorrow. 
but whether that will come to fruition remains to be seen <laughs> so if it is you'll see us here tomorrow at some point in the evening thank you so much for joining me I am at Crowton, as I say, if you're in the local area and want to pop and see me on Sunday, I do have, um, I will be there with all of our kits and all of my cards on sale. Um, that's at Crowton Village Hall on Sunday between 11 and 3. Thank you so much for joining you. See you next week, Kerry, Lynn, Jeanette, I think it's gone anyway, Tracy and katie and anybody else who is watching um either on replay or youtube or live and hasn't um said hi then i hope you have a great day a great evening depending on where you are and i look forward to catching up with you really soon thank you so much everybody for joining me i hope you like what we've created and i look forward to crafting with you again really soon <laughs> thank you bye for now